All right, so today was the day. Apple had their October event site refresh. Basically, they didn't have a keynote for the October event. All they did was basically took down the Apple Store, did a site refresh, added the new products, and then brought the Apple Store up so everyone could order and pre-order and do all that stuff. So, basically, what did Apple announce? And that is the key. Now, I can tell you right now, only one out of the three products basically is something you may want to think about upgrading. The other two, very minor, which we kind of knew that ahead of time. So pretty much this was an iPad event because if you remember last month, we had the iPhones, we had the AirPods, we had the Apple Watches. So that was a huge event. It was a keynote. Well, this time around, they did the iPads and they surprised us with the Apple TV. So in the iPads, they pretty much took the ninth generation and brought it to the 10th generation, took out the home button, gave it 5G support, and did a couple of minor upgrades in it, Wi-Fi 6, and then also moved the uh, FaceTime camera to landscape mode instead of portrait. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it, it's a significant update for people that had the ninth generation, but it wasn't much. Now, they also took the um, iPad Pros, and with that one, basically you're going to get a look like this. But really with the Pros, they didn't make it uh, very pro. They only gave it the M2 chip, and they gave it a couple of features you can do with the Apple Pencil. So if you've got an iPad Pro M1, should be pretty good for right now because probably in 2024 the iPad Pros may get a LED type of screen uh, also have the M2 or an M2 Ultra chip and it'll probably be a lot better than this year's iPad Pros were. Now Apple TV got rid of the Apple TV HD which I'm sorry I still have one but that's since 2015 and <clears throat> got rid of the other generations of the Apple TV 4K and brought us a new third generation Apple TV 4K. And this one comes with a standard 64 gigabytes. So you don't have to deal with the 32 gigabyte anymore. But if you definitely want the 128 gigabyte, which I don't know how you're going to be storing so much in the Apple TV, that one comes in a little bit pricier and has an Ethernet connection. So for those that have their Apple TVs tethered, then you can get that. The current Apple TV, the new one they came out with, the 4K, comes out around $129, and it's actually cheaper than the previous 4K was. So the Apple TV got a bump up as far as, you know, its specs and as far as the price drop. What got a major update was the new Siri remote. Instead of having the lightning connection now, now you have USB-C. So it should charge it much faster and should be more reliable for the Apple TV remote. So the Apple TV basically was the main update. And you'll only find two on the website now. You'll find a refurbished version of Apple TV and you'll find the new TV 4K. And that's pretty much it. So they're all going to run tvOS 16.1. And so pretty much as far as product update goes, there wasn't really too much announced in this site refresh. Now, we did also get iOS 16.1, the RC version, iPad OS 16.1 RC, the Watch OS 9.1 RC. So all the RC versions came out, <clears throat> which tells me that by Monday the 24th of October, we should have all the versions available for public release. But here's the thing. Remember that I talked to you guys about the savings account that Apple's going to be activating for your Apple Cash? Well, if you look in the notes of the 16.1 RC, you'll see that they have it in there. So could it be released on the 24th? Maybe. Could it be released down that down the way of that week? Probably. They didn't give us a release date, but since it's in the notes, that means it's in the software. So iOS 16.1 has the software to have the Apple Cash savings account. So we could get it soon. I don't know when. You're going to have to stay tuned here to find out. That's pretty much what was announced in Apple's October site refresh. I, I'm going to be upgrading the Apple TV 4K because I have an HD. Got to get rid of that thing. 
far as the iPads, I'm holding off on those. You want to find out more, I'll try to keep you up to date, but I want to hear from the ones who do order it and the ones who do get it. And I guess 2024 is going to be the main thing. Probably in November, we will get Mac updates. Probably the same thing. Site refreshes. But that I'll just have to wait and let you guys know how it goes. Also, make sure you follow me here because member 16.1 and all the updates are coming out on Monday. So you'll want to hear about what's new, what's been added, and also when that Apple Cash Savings account will be available. That's all I got for you guys right now. Hopefully you can check out Apple's website, see all the new stuff, and stay tuned here. Don't forget, make sure you follow me, subscribe, and I will come back and give you guys more. I thank you for watching.